Sugar. I'm annoyed with sugar. Why are you so addicted? Target, my husband, people who give rude, unsolicited advice, and sugar. That's what I'm annoyed with right now. I probably sound so crazy in this vlog, but like I'm also joking, guys. Like I'm serious, but I'm joking. And I'm talking about like I'm extra annoyed because I'm pregnant, you know? And so. Okay, I'm not like the craziest crazy pregnant lady around. Hey guys, and welcome to another day in the life of a pregnant mom of three. Today I'm going to share some of my symptoms, pregnancy symptoms, and just, you know, show you my crazy life and everything that's going on with these crazy boys. What, buddy? <laughs> what? Oh, you're heavy. Oh, you're so heavy. <laughs> you're turning on for the camera. You're going to be happy for the camera. <laughs> oh, why are you so cute? Why are you so cute? Was that a tooth? Was no. that a tooth? How did you hear those tooth? No, I just spit. Oh, you just spit. Phew, thank goodness. I thought you were going to stink up the place. But oh, you're too heavy. Okay, no more. No more. Go play with your brother. Go play. Go play. Go play. Oh, it's digging into the cake, I see. That's nice. That's nice. That's really nice. So, what was I saying? By the way, this sweater is new. It's from Target, of course. That's where I get everything. And it's from the Knox Rose brand, obviously, because that's the only um, line from there that I buy. The only clothing I buy now, because I love it that much. And I got it for 20% off. But Target always tries to mess with you. Trust me, I know, because I am like a Target regular. No, I, thank you, buddy. I don't need a chair. Thank you very much, but I don't need it. Um, I'm a Target, why is it the lighting so bad? Okay, I'm a Target regular, and this is what they do to trick you, and I don't appreciate it, because I buy everything from there, everything from them, and I don't appreciate being tricked, it's not nice, but they put these signs out claiming that things are on sale. If you spend this much money, you'll get like a $10 gift card or $5 gift card, whatever. I'm all about that. I'm like, I'm shopping here all the time. Might as well get a $5 gift card. So I buy extra. I buy more than what I would have, you know, because they misled me. Because they did. Then, Henry, please stop. I'm trying to talk. Then I get up to the register. There's the long line behind me. And what do you know? Are we doing to see me? <laughs> of course they want to see you. Of course they want to see you and your crazy hair because you're too cute. Your little cake uh, face. Clearly you've been eating cake. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly you've been eating cake. And what is your brother doing? Everyone in my latest video told me to move the baggies up to like a higher shelf in my pantry because it seems like in every video <laughs> they're all up here. Please stop. They're all over the floor. And no, no, I see like their the point floor. because now literally as we speak, Jack is pulling out some of the baggies from the pantry. Like I was ranting about Target. Clearly, my number one pregnancy symptom right now is annoyance. 100% annoyance. And if I'm annoyed with Target, my home planet, my one true love, you know, I'm extra annoyed. So I'm definitely feeling the pregnancy symptoms of being annoyed, emotional. I took Carter to see a movie. That was probably the last vlog in the last vlog at the end for his birthday. I took him to dinner and a movie. We saw Sonic the Hedgehog, not a particularly sad movie, although I cried three times. <laughs> so emotional, hormonal slash annoyed, tired, extremely tired already and I know it's just gonna get worse like I'm slightly nauseous and that's like the number one thing I hate about pregnancy is the nausea it's so bad and I've already been on it calling doctors trying to get set up so I can get the nausea meds never had them don't know why I didn't because apparently everyone in my life does that 
So I'm getting it this time. I have to. Oh, it's the only way. He's hugging me. It's the only way I will survive. But what was I saying? See, it's all, sorry, this is all disjointed. It's hard to think with crazy kids. No, I don't want, I don't want to. <laughs> so, um, this is why I'm not doing sit down pregnancy videos. <laughs> this is why. Um, and I, I remember with Jack, I tried to do it and people would like complain because this was literally what was happening. Like, do it during nap time. <laughs> I'm working during nap time. Hello. <laughs> See how annoyed I am? I'm even annoyed by like things people said to me in comments like years ago. <laughs> I'm annoyed by that. Well, thank you, Jack. Let's, let's show them what Jack's doing. Thank you for ripping up all those paper towels. People are like, why does your house get so messy? <laughs> oh, oh, and now you're gonna do it? You think, cause it's funny? It's so funny! It's just so funny! Oh my gosh, okay. Anyway, let's just pretend like that's not happening. Let's just pretend. Let's just pretend. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? So, what am I annoyed with? Oh, Target. So, Target, we'll start with Target. I've got a long list, don't worry. Um, Target, they lie, they lie, but I won this time. So, oh, and then they don't even know what they're doing. So sometimes I'll be like, so do I get the $5 gift card? Like fully assuming that I'm not going to. And then they say no, and I'm like, fine, because I don't want to bother all the people in the line behind me. Then I go on my app and I have this $5 credit on there. So it was just the cash register person, which I don't blame them. I blame the managers for not teaching them. Okay, they didn't know that I did get it. So it's like, they either say I didn't get it when I did get it, or they say I didn't get it and I don't get it, and they treat me like I can't read. They treat me like I can't read a sign that says spend $100 on diapers and you'll get a $10 gift card. Like they think I can't read, and so then I get up there, and I've said that, I'm like, I can read, I can read. I get up there, and they're like, no, sorry, I don't know what you're talking about, what sign you're talking about. Sometimes people think like, there's a sign that says starting at $14.99. <laughs> like, they think it's $14.99 is the price, but it's starting at $14.99. I'm like, I know what starting means. That's never me. I understand that concept. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a very clear sign here. Anyway, so it said 20% off for all the Knox Rose stuff. And I was like, <laughs> wish that had happened like a week ago and I bought a ton of stuff there. Knowing Target though, probably wouldn't have got the sale. Because of course, I'm like, okay, well there's probably a few more things I need from this Knox Rose line. Like I'm really milking this line while they keep it. So I found three things. A dress, this um, hoodie jacket thing, and what was the other thing? A top? I don't know. Henry's so cute when we're shopping together. He's like, what about this, mama? What about this? This is cute. It's so cute. But anyway, so found three things. Go up there. She's ringing me up. There's like three people behind me in line, of course. And it's not showing up for 20% off, of course. And I'm like, um, so there's a sign over there, which I couldn't even see. She couldn't see it, but I could see the sign for Knox Rose, 20% off. So then she has to get like the manager, the manager comes, doesn't even go and look at the sign, comes, blah, blah, blah. She's like, all right, let me go look at the sign. She goes and looks, she comes back and she's like, oh my gosh, yeah. There is a sign for 20% off. Like, like I can't read. I'm like, I told you there's a sign for 20% off. So then the girl like does the 20% off. And then she says this. She was nice. She was a nice girl. I don't blame her. I do not blame the employees unless you're like a manager or something. Because I know it's not up to them usually. But she said, does that do it for you? I did the 20% off. Does that do it for you? I'm like, well, don't put the and then apparently after me, they're taking it down. So I'm like that person that's like caused the stink and now they're taking the sign down. And I'm just like, why was it up then? Why Hello. was it up? <laughs> Where's Jackie? Oh, he's still, he's still ripping up the... See, the thing is, I let my kids make messes because they're having fun, one. But two, they are happy for like five <laughs> seconds. So it's just kind of like a catch for me too. I don't even know. But, what are you smiling about down there? What is he smiling about down there? Okay, anyway. So, annoyed with Target, number one. Who else am I annoyed with? Okay, the rest, my husband, I can tell you that. He doesn't care. He doesn't care. I can tell you. I'm annoyed with my husband. I feel bad for him somewhat. Not really. 
We got into a little tiff after the dresser fell on Henry and I was like afraid he was really hurt and stuff, you know, high stress situation, of course, causes an argument. So yeah, ever since then, been annoyed with him. I'm like, I'm sorry that I had to pull a dresser off of our son and save his life and then I'm supposed to be so calm. Anyway, so a little bit annoyed with my husband, but I love him. We'll get through it, be fine. I'm keeping him around. I will, I promise. <laughs> But anyway, so Target, my husband, who else am I annoyed with? Okay, the other people I probably can't say because they may get like offended. My husband, like he knows I'm annoyed with him and he like doesn't care. These other people, I don't even know if they know I'm annoyed with them. You know what I mean? It's like one of those things where it's like, is it worth it to like bring it up or anything? <laughs> what is happening down there? What is happening? <laughs> What is happening? This is not good. This is not good. This is never good. Oh my gosh. And Henry likes to pretend to be a baby because he thinks it's funny. When Jack is being his baby self. Okay. Can I, can I hint at why I'm annoyed? Okay, I'm gonna say why I'm annoyed with these people. I don't appreciate unsolicited advice or judgment. Being rude, judgmental, bossy, I don't appreciate that. I don't. I probably sound so crazy in this vlog, but like I'm also joking guys, like I'm serious, but I'm joking. And I'm talking about like, I'm extra annoyed because I'm pregnant, you know? And so, hopefully I don't come off like the craziest, crazy pregnant lady around. But I probably do, but anyway, I don't know. I thought you guys might find it interesting. So, um, yeah, that's why I'm annoyed with other people is I don't appreciate. Henry, you're grabbing more paper towels. That's why you're laughing. Okay, last one. Last one. Last one, Henry. Um, so then, what else was I going to say? Okay, so that's the gist of why I'm annoyed with certain people. And I'll just, like, leave it at that. Um, what else am I annoyed about? I know there's more. Oh, I've been eating sugar nonstop, and that's what caused me to, that's part of why I gained so much weight in the past. What is this? There's like a car in front. I'm going to close the window. This is not good at all. I don't appreciate this. I don't appreciate this at all. Look down. Are you crawling like a baby? Great. 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 Even Jack knows how to walk and he's crawling. Great. Next. Sugar. I'm annoyed with sugar. Why are you so addicted? Target, my husband, people who give rude, unsolicited advice and are bossy and know it all -y. Um, and sugar. That's what I'm annoyed with right now. Um, but, yeah, so, I need to cut sugar out. Like, it's just too addicting. And I know, like, I try not to be, like, put it on such a pedestal to where I'm having to cut it out, you know? I try to be like, okay, if I say I can't have it, then I want it even more. But, I really need to cut it out of my system to where, like, for two weeks, it takes about two weeks, I've done it before, to get sugar out of your system and then you stop craving it. And that's really what I need to do. I'll start craving like natural sugars, like strawberries and stuff. So I really need to do that. The problem is though, I bought Carter cupcakes for his youth group that he went to yesterday. I bought him a cake for his birthday, you know? And then my dad shows up, it would've been nice if he would've communicated with me and told me, who I think he wanted it to be a surprise, but I'm like, dude, it's not even my birthday, please tell me, because now we have two cakes. We got this giant cookie cake, which is like our family's obsession and favorite. So now there's sugar everywhere. There's leftover cupcakes from youth group. There's leftover cookie cake. There's a whole cake that hasn't even been opened because everyone wanted the cookie cake, of course. So, yeah. And then I need to film. I need to film me cleaning this messy house for my cleaning channel. And I've really not been in the mood just not been in the mood and like even I've had like all these issues too so it was like I posted that video my latest cleaning video immediately have issues like people are 
saying the quality isn't good, which like I get, like that's annoying. I wanna watch things in good quality. Well, I figured it out finally. It was my editing software was um, exporting it or putting it on YouTube on like super low quality. So I had to switch that setting and now it's fixed. So that's good that I at least figured it out. But that was stressful and annoying. And then I have had a few rude comments. I did, as far as pregnancy goes, I did get, I think I've picked my doctor. So I've gone to like every single baby I've had, I've had a different doctor. I wish I had found like the perfect doctor or doctor that I really wanna stick with um, at, at least once, like in one of these pregnancies, but I just haven't. So the last one was fine. Like he was nice and did a good job and everything, but he was all the way in like a town that is like a 45 minute drive. And so then that ends up, not only do you usually have to wait at doctor's appointments forever, but then it adds like, you know, an hour and a half more. And so you just like your whole day is that doctor's appointment. Not that I want to bring these kids to my doctor's appointments, but like you can't because of COVID. Like you can't bring anyone. You can't even bring your husband. Which is gonna be interesting because I always, Jared always comes to the first appointment. He never comes after that. <laughs> I guess he did for the ultrasound with Henry. He came to the two appointments with Henry um, because we found out the gender at the ultrasound. But with Jack, it was a blood test. That'll be the same with this baby. Um, but anyway, so normally I like to have him there at least for the first because I want to be able to be able, just in case there's no heartbeat or something like that, I would love my husband to be there for me in that moment. But hopefully everything goes well. So you can't bring anyone. So yeah, so I don't want to travel far away. So I found someone and I actually think it's like a more convenient drive. They, they have two locations that are like almost the exact same distance, like within a minute of each other away from me. So I picked one that I think will be like less traffic and stuff getting there. I'm just trying to make things as convenient for myself as possible. I also wanted a female because I just think it makes more sense with like this type of stuff to have a female. And so that will be my first time having a female doctor, baby doctor. Oh, oh, they're hugging me. These boys, these boys are so sweet. This is what I go through today. It's gone from loving on these kids like they're so cute to losing my mind. Oh, just too lovable in every single way. Um, but yeah, so I found one. She's a female. The whole office. Careful, Henry. The whole office is female, so that's nice. Like all the doctors. And I looked her up, I like her. And since I actually have been to this particular office before, thank goodness, um, they will probably let the nurse call in some sickness medicine for my appointments, not till the end of October, my first appointment. But I know I'm gonna start to get really sick like next week. It's literally like a countdown. So I'm five weeks and like four days, four or five days today. And literally by six weeks is when it just hits. And I already feel slightly nauseous, but like I can deal with the annoyance and the emotional and the tiredness even. Um, like last night I fell asleep like eight p.m. But um, so I felt really productive yesterday that, although when I called the nurse, cause I wanna just go ahead and talk to her about the nausea medicine, I tried to leave her a message and it like, I pressed the wrong button and it was like I was trying to get into her voice inbox and listen to her voice. I don't know. So I'm gonna have to call again. But I'm not sick yet, so I may wait until I'm actually feeling sick. But yeah, so I got that taken care of yesterday. Found the doctor, um, set up an appointment. They're gonna let me hopefully talk to a nurse before my appointment is even set up. I tried to set up um, the sneak peek gender test thing, but they didn't answer. So I'm gonna have to call that again. Trying to be productive. Oh, oh. Oh, lovable boys. They just hug me and they bump me. I'm loving paper towels. Oh, I'm loving paper towels. Oh, I'm loving paper towels. Sunlight is not great. Okay. So how are we going to do this? Look at Henry, you guys. He's like single-handedly doing this. Wait, buddy, that's too close. We don't want him too close. Let's do 
Try like that, yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Henry is like doing one, this by himself, two, basically. Two more. Okay, yeah, perfect. Okay, I'll do this one by myself, I'll do this one by myself. Okay. Sounds good. He knows how to put the little stakes in. Make sure you push it in and then put it like right there. Try that spot. Does it fit there? Will it go through? There we go. Oops. Push it. Okay. All right. Perfect. Last one. You're doing so good, buddy. Now we need to do that one on this side. That's right. And we'll probably need to buy one. Oh, yeah. Too close. Yeah. Maybe put, put it like right there. Because the rocks, hold on, let me see. Maybe try and push that in a little bit more. There you go. Okay, good job, Last buddy. One. Yeah, we gotta get that box. Look how cute. And Henry did this all by himself, basically. Oh, look at me. Oh, and he's hugging his ghost. So sweet. You know, hug these guys. Oh. <laughs> So sweet, Henry. <laughs> Jackie is napping. <laughs> look how cute it's looking. I love the little pumpkins. Yeah, I they love look, them too. You love them too? You did, high five, bud. You're doing such a good job. Yeah. These won't be plugged in because we need another extension cord. But uh, we can get them set up. Um, we can buy one though. Yeah, we can buy another extension cord. Um, I think so cute. One more hat. We have our cat. Very cute. Can you get that open, bud? Alright, guys. So that is the car we're considering. It's over there. What do you think of it, Henry? Good. I don't like this car. <laughs> I want that car. <laughs> Henry's already over our current car and says he doesn't like it and he wants the new one right now. <laughs> I like that one. I like this one because Jared. it's old. <laughs> Jared was talking to the guy so we are waiting in the car and um, Henry's like, why are we getting in this car? We should be getting in the new car. Mm. Closing the window so people don't hear us talking to a phone like crazy people right but yeah I I wanted white or black that was like my big thing the car I have is silver and I wanted white or black when we got this car mostly white but now I've opened to white or black but we're getting a we want a certified we want a certified pre-owned car because then it has like a warranty and stuff my tongue is green Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, okay, you're, you're done. So, um, <laughs> give, him another, Henry, give him another graham cracker. Thank give him another graham cracker. Um, and that, it could just be tougher to find cars like that. So, yeah, that's the only thing is that. Um, I was sick when yet. Is the color, but it's like a sparkly silver, right, Henry? <laughs> Yep, my sister. So, which is prettier than regular silver, I think. My, my tongue nice. is green. Nice, the inside is really nice. Your tongue is green. Did you give him a graham cracker? Yeah. What's wrong, Bubba's? Oh, Jackie. Mommy, you just went on cruise. It has a panoramic sunroof, which I really like. I like that a lot. Um, and it has like an extra sunroof for the kids in the back too, so that's cool. <laughs> this is where we're at as far as craziness. Jared is still inside talking to them. I don't think we're buying it today. We're not, but we may seriously consider coming back to get it. I really do like it, but like I love the inside. The inside is perfect. Like it's a used car, but it looks new. Like the outside. Are you okay? The outside looks new too. What are you doing, Grace? Um, but I don't know. Bubba. Can I get another? Can I have a car? Yeah. 
Oh, again! Yay. Give him a graham cracker again! Hey. I don't know, guys. It's a nice car, and we need a bigger car ASAP since I'm pregnant. We already need a bigger car now. <laughs> yeah. With three kids. Yeah. Let <laughs> me my tummy boy. This is what it's like waiting in the car with crazy kids. Ew, yucky tongue, yucky tongue. Ew. 